What's up, YouTube? Okay, uh, so I thought I'd put webcams in my battles now since I'm doing uh, them on Twitch as well. Okay, I just got out of shower too, so I remembered to put a shirt on. Okay, uh, so this is uh, my new team, as you can see. Um, now, this one uh, was a was a really decent battle. I got this uh, from my stream um, on Saturday. So first of all, I want to say thanks to everyone that rocked up for that. Uh, it was really fun. Had some decent battles as well. Um, but let's cover a question for that. Let me think. Hmm. Actually, let's decide on a Pokemon. Uh, last time, as you can see on my team, I've got Fyrek. That was the most uh, voted up Pokemon. Um, so this time I will use another one. So hell, if it's an unknown, let's. I'll do it. <laughs> um, just give me anything. Uh, list it up there in the comments. Uh, list the Pokemon in the comments I should use, please. That'd be uh, good. I enjoy looking through all the suggestions. If you've got any moves, uh, move sets or ideas, whack them on there as well. That, that'd be appreciated. Okay, let's get to this battle anyway. So we've got um, we've got a Molga, Mantine, Arbok, Rapidash, Golduck, and Ferrisu. So thinking about that team. Two possible leads come to my head. Obviously, Ferris is going to be one, and Amolga being the other. I wasn't too sure which one, but um, like I said, I had a pretty good, uh, a pretty good start uh, to go up against. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so I chose my Marowak as the lead time, just in case that Amolga came out. Um, obviously, its electric attacks wouldn't affect me, and um, I'd have the advantage uh, somewhat. Okay, uh, this is just going to go for protect first. I, I do like how. Ferrisseed uh, is actually in the ground. It looks looks pretty cool. Okay, so anyway, I'm going for uh, Bon Bonarang. I'm just going to call it Bonarang. Sounds better. Um, that hits a twice does over half damage, which is really impressive to Ferrisseed. Uh, bulky as shit we've ever liked. Um, then again, it is Marowak. He's got crazy attack. So I thought that Mantine or Imolga would come in here, expecting my uh, that move again. So I went here straight for the Stone Edge because I thought something flying would come in. Um, so it wasn't a bad result because I got to hit the Golduck. Um, however, if I if I played unpredictable, uh, well, if I played predictable, I would have probably taken out. But that's okay. Uh, you can overpredict as well. So uh, in comes Farah. There wasn't a lot I could do here. I just wanted to check what this gold actually had. So I frisked out uh, Choice Specs, which was I guess somewhat handy because I now I know what it's got. Uh, not that it's got a lot of health left, but um, poor Farah, I didn't get to use you very much this battle. I apologise. He will make a comeback for certain. Okay, um, so into a Selgo, I know they can outspeed because it's, um, I've looked at its item. Uh, not that it really matters anyway, a Selgo's like fast as anything. Uh, this is my choice specs user as well, so I knew Mantine sort of would come in, but I thought, well, I might, he may just leave it in for fodder. Um, sort of hoping, but uh, it didn't. So, uh, as I said, I'm choice specs, so there's nothing I can really do to this Mantine. It's probably going to be one of these bulky ones. Um, so I've got no sort of choice to swap out. I don't really like getting hit by Stealth Rocks. Um, there was a Zelga, but there's nothing much I can really do. So I went to Nose Pass. I know that Skull or Water Move was probably coming, but I knew that I could take it with its like superior defenses and um, stuff like that. I knew I could at least get one uh, Stealth Rock up, and that was sort of my my mission here. Because with that Mantine on the field, Molga, uh, that Pokemon with only a little bit of uh, light, Gold up with only a little bit of health left, it would really be handy and better. I mean. Just going for like Volt Switch or something on Mantine, which wouldn't have done too much anyway, even with that four times. Okay, um, <laughs> I like how he does the stealth rock or his little animations as like twirls around his little rocks and stuff. Okay, uh, so that's the stealth rock setup, which is good. I'm happy about that. So it was really just a fodder thing here. There's no point swapping into anything because I didn't really want to risk uh, a skull um, on absolutely anything at all. Um, my cell got already had taken enough damage and with Stealth Rocks it just would have uh, destroyed it so down goes Mario but he was handy uh, sorry I messed up the agenda too but um, that was just a egg that I got in the end, end result really okay so as you can see um, it's pretty much back to full health so I go to Togetic this is my uh, special uh, defense well but it's actually quite surprisingly bulky in defense too um, so it's a bit of an all rounder and a really fun set um, if you've seen tonight's video already I did do a uh, a sweet will, which was pretty funny. Uh, so good prediction there with Toxic, uh, but unfortunately I'm well prepared for steel users with this set, and I go straight for the Flamethrower and take out the Ferris Seed. Um, I like a number one swap in for um, Togetic uh, in these sort of low tiers is definitely like a steel type, so that's exactly why I had uh, Flamethrower. K, 
Okay, so in comes Arbok. I know that a it's going to be a coil or a gunk shot. Uh, I don't really want to stick around if it's a gunk shot because I'll, that will heavily, uh, really hurt me and may even poison me as well. So into Bones here. I know I can one-shot this thing easily. Uh, even with like a coil up, I wasn't too scared at all. Um, so as I thought, he did go for coil. Uh, so it's got a buff in attack and uh, defense. Okay. Now, I didn't really expect it to stay in here. Um, even with that coil up, it's not... It's not threatening at all, just due to my nice base defense and everything. Um, but uh, in comes the Emolga instead. I, I knew that it's. It, I was just. I played a little bit predictable there because um, due due to the beginning of the battle, um, it was like a predictable one there with a swap in, but it was changed with this one. So ah, that happens. You predict each other, you out predict each other. That's that's a Pokemon for you. So into uh, Togetic here. Um, it's going to go for agility, which is strange, because the Mulga's like freaking fast as. So I was wondering what his strategy would be with this. Uh, then he uses Electro Ball. I'm like, that's a good strategy. Nice. Um, if you didn't know, Electro Ball is uh, affected um, by like, the speed of yourself compared to the opponent. So it's an interesting move and uh, nice strategy there. Okay, so into Marowak. Now, I know this thing can't touch me. Um, like you can use White Air Slash, but it goes for Baton Pass. I'm like, damn, nice. Uh, what are you going to pass all this speed to? This will be interesting. Um, so I was thinking, what the hell are you going to pass this to? But um, in comes the Arbok. So I was like, well, I can see the merit in that because you'll get the Intimidate off. But even with Intimidate, like, up, I'm still going to do lots of things. So I get the Stone Edge anyway, and that does, like, sizable damage. Um, I'm like, I'm okay with that. That was good. Uh, the most this can do is Earthquake to me, and I know that I can live that with my nice... Uh, Base defense, Marowak's got some good defense. And I have health investment in this thing too, definitely. Um, I don't think that crit would have even mattered at all. So I hit with Stone Mist twice in a row, which is good. Now, uh, so Golduck uh, is gone by the Stealth Rock, so that was a good thing I set that up. Um, Stealth Rock really helped this battle. Um, I don't normally use it, I'm not really a fan of it. But uh, I thought I did incorporate it in this team. So here comes Rapidash. I know this thing's going to obviously outspeed me. It's hell fast, and I've used Rapidash myself. Wasn't too sure if it was a Choice Band user or not. Um, I tend to run Choice Band Rapidash. It's very decent. To you. It's got nice speed, and you can sort of patch its... Oh, it's, it's got good attack, but it's it's not really one-shotting material, uh, if you get what I mean. You, you know what I mean if you've actually used it. So into a Cell Guard. I knew that I would outspeed here, um, unless it was a Choice Scarf, which I didn't think it would be, because... I don't really see Choice Scarf Rapidash a lot, it doesn't hit hard enough. Uh, so into Mantine, which is, um, once again, that Stealth Rock doing some nice work. I knew that he'd swap into that, um, so straight here for the Sludge Bomb, which does fair, fair sizable damage to me. Uh, to, sorry, to him. I'm not using Sludge Bomb myself. It'd be weird if you could use move on yourself. Uh, anyway, so Sludge Bomb again, uh, Just I just want to get this freaking thing down, but he uses Rest, so I'm like, okay, it's definitely uh, a bulky sleep talking um, Man time, like I made one of these myself earlier on in X and Y. Um, it's just funny when you come back and verse some of the sets you used earlier on. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, and you sort of know what they are straight away when you see them. Uh, one of their moves and their EVs and damage and everything like that. Okay, uh, so it turns out it's got Air Slash. Um, so it's got Scold, Air Slash, Rest, and Sleep Talk. So it's a bulky um, with dual stab. So that's alright. Okay, um, so it is asleep now. I had one poke left here. I was absolutely desperate to get back into this battle, um, being my hunt owl. Now, I knew I could get a free Shell Smash off here. Um, if, like, the Sleep Talk didn't work and I maybe I got, like, critted by Air Slash, I, st I still was confident that I could uh, actually live it. Now, um, so in instead of the Mantine going for uh, Sleep Talk, it went for um, swapped into Mulga, which is a fairly decent idea because there is, like, a chance that uh, it's not going to hit. Okay, so I've got White Herb there. Now, I'm at the Shell Smash. I'm about 403 speed. Um, I wasn't too sure what this thing's item was, like if it was a Choice Scarf or... Uh, I wasn't actually really sure or focused on any, like, a, um, normal items like that. But I knew that... Um, I had a feeling this was a Banded Rapidash as well and that I would outspeed it, and I did, which was great. Um, I can get past that. Like, the only move Rapidash would have been out of hit me with would have been Wild Charge and uh, well I know I wouldn't have lived a banded one and I would have probably lived a really badly lived a uh, just a normal uh, rapid asset. So the last pike here was the Mantine. Uh, I had a chance because it was asleep so I could get one crunch off at least before it woke up and I'm faster and it's going to take it out anyway so 
yeah, that's game. Um, good game, Emily. It was uh, decent. I hope I said your name right. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you pro if you like this, please leave a like on the video. That'd be sweet if you could do that. If you like me using webcam, uh, like the video so I know what um, you like to watch. And um, as usual, um, thanks for taking uh, the time out of, out of your day to watch my videos. Uh, also, one last thing. Um, with my Inu Tawny, um, I will be putting the brackets up probably tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one as well. That's about it. Peace, peace everyone.